Hi class, how are you today? Hey, that's how I'm feeling too. Alright, the learning target for today is to write congruent to write statements about congruent triangles, which are uh, part of what they'll call part of what they are called are congruent statements. And we'll get into that in a moment. But um, the scale, your three, if you can write congruent statements and state which parts are congruent. Two, you can write congruent statements or state which parts are congruent. You can't do both. One, you have trouble when the triangles are connected. So sometimes we'll have triangles that are connected and you'll have to deduce some things about congruency there. And zero, you cannot write statements about congruent triangles. Let's get started. All right, so let's start with these two triangles. I've made a whole bunch of marks on these. These two triangles are congruent. And notice I said this side is congruent to this side because of the one mark. This has two marks, so this side is congruent to this side. This has three, so this one's congruent to this one. Same with the angles. One mark, one mark, so those two are congruent. Two marks, two marks, so those two. And three marks, three marks. Those two. So now, now let's write out which parts of the triangle are congruent to which parts of the other triangle. So. Uh, let's start with the easy one, the angles. So angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle F. Then the sides, we know side AB is congruent to side DE. Side BC is congruent to side EF. And side CA is congruent to side FD. So, these are the different parts of the triangles that are congruent to each other. So, how would you write a statement saying that these two triangles are congruent? So, let's name the first triangle. We'll name it Triangle ABC. So, triangle ABC. Now, to do this correctly, order matters. So, if we say triangle ABC, the order of the second one has to be the angle that's congruent to angle A then the angle that's congruent to angle B, then the angle that's congruent to angle C. So, this triangle is congruent to triangle, and it has to be D, E, F, because A is congruent to D, B is congruent to E, and C is congruent to F. So order does matter. And that's why you have to listen to my videos, because I'm not writing it. You should hear me. So, order matters. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. If you named triangle ABC something else, that's fine. But if you change that order, you have to change this order. A has to be in the same spot as angle D. B has to be in the same spot as angle E, and C has to be in the same spot as F. So if you said CBA, 
you would have to then say FED. So as long as they're in the same spots, then it's fine. But order does matter. All right. Now we have two triangles. And yes, they are triangles. I'm sorry, I can't draw. We have two triangles, and I'm telling you that they're congruent. And we'll find very soon that just with that picture, you can actually tell that they're congruent. Uh, but that's in, a, uh, in the future. For now, I'm telling you those two triangles are congruent. And first part, I want you to name the parts that are congruent. So notice I didn't mark any specific angles congruent. You'll be able to figure those out on your own, though. But since I marked the sides congruent, let's mark those ones first. So we know, because they each have one mark, that side AB is congruent to side CD. And because they have two marks, side BC is congruent to side AD. And the third side of each triangle is side AC, and in the other triangle, it's also side AC. So side AC is congruent to itself because it's the same side. They are connected. So those are the sides that are connected to each other. Then we need to look at which angles are congruent. So if we look here, we know AB is congruent to CD. Remember back when we learned about triangles, we know that sides are respective to their opposite angles. So if two sides are congruent in a congruent triangle, then we know their respective angles are also congruent. So we look at the angle which is opposite side AB. That's this one right here. It's B, C, A. So angle B, C, A is congruent to the angle that's opposite C, D. That's going to be this one, which is C, A, D. C, A, a, D. Next, we need to do the next two angles. So, which side is respect? Which angle is respective to BC? It's this one over here, BAC. So, angle BAC is congruent to angle. It's the one respective to this one. So this one right here, angle A, C, D. I just want you to note that in the last one I did just one letter, but this one I did three letters. That's because there are more than one angle here. There's actually three angles the two small ones and the one big one. So I can't just say angle A is congruent to angle C because there are three different angles and you don't know which ones you're talking about. So you have to specifically name them with all three letters. Then we look at the third side, which in both triangles is this side right here, AC. So in the first triangle, the side that's respective to is this angle right here. There's only one angle there, so we can just name it angle B. You can name th all three letters if you want, but you don't need to. So angle B 
is congruent to the one opposite this side in this triangle, which is angle D. Now we want to write the statement that these two triangles are congruent. Remember again, order matters. So, the first one, I will say it's going to be triangle ABC. So, triangle ABC is congruent to. So, I wrote that, so the order of the other one has to be correct. So, looking at this picture, we have A, B, C. We need to make sure we go in the same order in the other triangle. So we start off by going from A to B. That's this first side, the one with the one slash. So if I go from A to B, I have to go the same direction in the other triangle. Starting that goes from one angle to another but goes over the single slash. Then I have to go from B to C and that brings me through the second slash. So I have to go through the first slash and then through the second slash. The only way to do that in the second triangle is from C to D and from D to A. So that means it's going to be named triangle C, D, A. Triangle C, D, A. All right, one more example, then we're done. All right, one final example. So in this example, we have triangle JKL is congruent to triangle PQR. And I want you to tell me all the parts of the triangle that are congruent. And I'm not going to give you a picture this time. I'm just telling you. So from this, you should be able to figure out which parts are congruent to each other. The easiest part is the angle. So let's start with those. So remember, I said order matters. So if J is in the first spot, it's congruent to the angle that's in the first spot, angle P. So angle J is congruent to angle P. By the way, it is assuming these triangles are not connected and that there are no other angles. So angle J is congruent to angle P. And then we can do the same for the others. Middle spot K and Q. So angle K is congruent to angle Q. And the last one's angle R is congruent, angle L is congruent to angle R. We can do the same thing with the sides as well. It's just a little bit different. Only a little bit. So J, K are right next to each other, and P, Q are right next to each other. That means side J, K is congruent to side P, Q. So J, K is congruent to P, Q. Then K, L is next to each other, Q, R is in the same order. So KL is congruent to QR. Now for the last one, they're not nets to each other, but they're both on the ends. So LJ is congruent to RP. So the last one, then the first one. So LJ is congruent to RP. All right, now time for the sponge activity. So, I want you to write congruent statements about each pair of congruent triangles. On number one, we have uh, this triangle here and this triangle here. 
and I want you to state the uh, congruence statement and for these triangles here again write the congruence statement that's it once again please make sure to take notes on the entire lesson attempt the sponge make sure you put your rating 3210 take a picture of it submit it all to your backpack and have a good night